Welcome to the Momentum Registration Process Training Video. My name is Lisa and I will be your live interactive support associate during this training video. This video provides a demonstration of how to complete the registration application as an individual using the Momentum system. To begin the application, you must have an online profile established first. The registration application requires you to log in using your online profile credentials. If you do not have an online profile, click the New Users Start Here hyperlink at the top of the page to create a new online profile. The purpose of registering in Momentum is to collect and verify that information is correct for a company or individual doing business with Prince George's County. Registration is a one-time process. Once you have registered yourself or your company, you will be able to use your registration number to apply for any Prince George's County permits or business licenses offered via Momentum. The county will use the registration to better organize and communicate with its customer base. You will need to register as a company or an individual. Here is a brief description of the differences between the two. An individual is a person registering on their own behalf. Required documents for this application are either a valid driver's license, passport or state ID card. A company is typically a corporation, LLC or partnership. The required documentation for this application includes a letter from the Internal Revenue Service, or the first page of your business tax return displaying your company's EIN number. For sole proprietors, required documentation includes a valid driver's license or state ID. For this video, we will demonstrate the registration process for an individual. This is the Welcome to Momentum landing page. Now, let's log into the Momentum system to begin the application process. Click the Login button at the top right section of the page to enter your login credentials from your online profile. Enter your email address here. Now, enter your password here and click the Login button to log in. Notice in the highlighted box, your personal information has been auto-populated. From here, the process for completing the registration application as a company or an individual is quite easy. This video will walk you through the registration process as an individual. To begin the registration process, click the I want to link at the top of the page. Here is the start an application page. Notice there are several options to choose from. To begin the registration application, select the I want to apply for a registration box and click the next button in the lower right corner of the page to continue. You are now the on the I want to apply for a registration page where you will identify which type of registration you want to complete. Since this demonstration is for an individual, click the circle beside individual in the company or individual section of the page and click the next button in the lower right corner to continue. Now it's time to verify you have the required documents to complete the registration process. Based on your selection as an individual, Momentum provides the names of the required documents to continue processing your registration. In this case, a copy of your driver's license, passport or state-issued ID is required. To continue, read the statement in the Prince George's County Registration box and click the Apply button beside the statement. Next, in the Name This Project box, enter a name for your project in the Create Name field and click the Save and Continue button. Here is the Submit a New Record page. This page allows you to enter your details, add authorized users to the registration and, if applicable, connect any existing licenses or permits to the registration. Review the instructions section and confirm that the license category is individual to continue the process. Click the Save and Continue button. Now, let's enter your details in the required fields. Next, enter your phone number and email address. If you do not have two numbers, you can use the same phone number twice. Next, we will add authorized users to the registration. You must add at least one authorized user to your registration application. An authorized user can apply for a license and permit under this registration. The original user who creates this registration will have access to maintain this registration. Please be aware that at a minimum, you must enter yourself as an authorized user. If you are applying for someone else, please be sure to enter their information. To add an authorized user, click the plus add row located under the authorized user's instructions. In the Add Row box that populates, enter the name and email address of the authorized user and click the Save Row button. You can repeat these steps until all authorized users are added. Next, let's verify you have the documents required for registration. 
You are now in the Individual Registration Checklist section of the page. Here you will verify that you have your required documents for registration. Read the statement located in this section and check the box beside it when you are finished. Next, enter your full name in the signature field. Your current existing licenses, permits, or applications must be associated to a registration, which you will update in this section. You can also do this association once your registration is approved. Please be sure to enter the exact license, permit or application number. To add the license number to this registration, click plus add row located below the instructions in the associating ePermits license slash application to this registration section. Then enter the license number in the add row box that appears. Then click the save row button. You can repeat these steps until all licenses and permits are added. It is recommended that you review your information and make updates, if needed, on the review information page. Click the save and continue button to proceed. Here is the review information page where you can review all previously entered information. To make changes, click the pencil icon located beside edit at the top of the page. The fields on the page open for you to enter new information. You can scroll to section or sections that need updating and make your changes. Once you have completed your edits, click the Save and Continue button in the lower right corner of the page. The system reviews the updated application data and refreshes the review information page. Now you are ready to submit your application and move to the next stage of the registration process. To submit your application scroll down to the bottom of the review information page and click the Submit button. A submit box will appear. Click the Submit button in that box. The confirmation page shows the application was successfully submitted and displays your registration record number. Let's continue to the Upload Document stage. Notice that the record number is a hyperlink. Click the record number hyperlink to proceed to the document submission page and instructions. Here is where you will begin the Upload Document process. On this page, it is important to follow the instructions in order. The first step is to attest or verify, that you have the verification documents. Click the here hyperlink at the end of step 1. The page automatically scrolls down to the individual registration checklist section. Here you review and confirm that your previous response was saved. Now, scroll back up to the instructions section to complete the next step. After confirming your response was saved, the next step is to upload the verification documents. To upload your documents, scroll down to the Attachments section and click the Add Attachment button. The Upload Attachments box appears. Click the Browse hyperlink in the box to search for your verification document and add that file to the box. Remember, the verification document for an individual registration is either a copy of your driver's license, passport or state-issued ID. Once the selected file is displayed in the box, enter the title and description. Next, click the Save and Upload button. Notice the image of the uploaded file with the title and description is in the Attachments section. Also notice the number beside the Add Attachments button. This number indicates the number of files uploaded to this section. Next, scroll back up to the Instructions section to complete the final step of the document upload process. The third step is to confirm that you uploaded the verification document correctly. To complete your confirmation, click the Here hyperlink in Step 3. The page will automatically scroll down to the Request Info section. To begin the confirmation step, click the pencil icon located in the Request Info section. The Update Row box appears. Check the box beside Submitted and click the Save Row button. The Update Row box closes. Click the Save button to save your data. The document upload process is complete. So, what's next? After you finish uploading your verification documents, you will receive an email notification that your registration has been received and is under review. If additional information is needed, you are notified by email. You are also notified by email when your registration has been approved. During the registration review process, you can use your registration number to apply for your application. To start a new application, click the I want to hyperlink located at the top of the page. The system will guide you through the process. It is important to note that applications submitted during the registration review process will not be approved until the registration is approved. If you wish to log out of the Momentum system, click the My Account button and select Log Out in the menu that appears.
Congratulations! You have just completed the registration process. This video provided a demonstration of how to complete the registration process as an individual.